Hi, welcome to my channel, Handmade in Marbella. My name is Jeanette and today I'm going to show you how to crochet a spiral and then turn it into a square so it can be made into a blanket. For this blanket you can use any weight of yarn, a double knit, aran, whatever, whatever you want as long as all the colours you choose are the same and you use the, the correct size hook according to the ball band. To start you need to choose your four colours. I'm using pinks and greys um, with a, a dark and a light of each colour to make the contrast. But you could choose four shades of the same colour or four totally different colours depending on what look you actually want. So you take your first colour, make a slip stitch, four chains, And then join with a slip stitch to the first chain to make a loop to work, work into. You make one chain. Now in your loop we're going to put a double crochet, that's UK terms, double crochet, a half treble and a treble. And then we take a stitch marker to put in that last stitch. Then you take your next colour, start with a slip stitch on your hook. And we're going to do a standing double crochet. So for that you start with the, the slip, stick, slip stitch on your hook, put the hook into the loop, yarn over hook, pull through, yarn over hook, pull through both for a double crochet. Then we'll make a half treble and a treble. There's a stitch marker in the stitch. Move it all up a little bit. Then we take the third colour, do the same thing. Slip knot on your hook and in the loop we do a standing double crochet, a half treble and a treble. And a stitch marker in the stitch and then finally you take your fourth colour and repeat the same thing. Slip knot on your hook. Standing double crochet. Half treble. And a treble. And this time we're going to carry on with the fourth colour over the first colour. So for the first for this first colour we have a treble, a half treble and a double crochet. So in the double crochet we're going to do two trebles because we need to start the increases for the spike for the circle. So two trebles in the double and two trebles in the half treble. We need to put one here as well, but because it's very close to the stitch marker, I'm going to leave it until I come back around again. So we put a stitch marker in here. Go back to the first colour. Put back in the stitch. And the same again. We're going to do two trebles in the first double crochet. And two trebles in the half treble. And then put the stitch marker back in. Just drop that thread and then pick up the 
second colour. And the same again. Two trebles into the first double crochet here. two trebles into the half treble. And the third colour. Same again. Two trebles into the double. Two trebles into the half treble. And now we can also put, for this one now, we can put the two trebles into the treble. Now as we continue now, every time we get to where we've done two trebles in the, pre in the treble on the row below, we're going to do two trebles in that space, in the, in the space in between. But everybody else only gets one treble. So... This one has one treble. This one has two trebles because it's above the two trebles there. This one has one treble. So I'm going to put the stitch marker back in here. And then on the next, when we come round again, the first one is going to need two trebles because it's it's above two trebles. Now, as you can see, this is starting to get tangled now. So as we're always crocheting this way round, if you turn it this way round, you can untangle how far, until they're straight. And then we're ready to start in the next. Color. So we just did this one. Now we're going to continue with the second, the fourth color. <laughs> into the back into the first color. So again, we're going to put here. This is the original first, the original treble on the first colour, so we put two trebles in there. Here we have one treble. Here it's two trebles in the stitch below, so we put two trebles in this one. One in the next space, and then it would be two in the next space, but we're going to leave it for the next till we come around again. Same for the first color now. We still need to put this is the original double, half, treble, and treble. So we need to put in here, we need to put two trebles for the increases. And then here we have our first increase here, two trebles. So we, in front we just put one, one treble. In the two we put two. Then we put one. And then it will be ready in the next space will be two. So 
And then we have this one. This is the last one now where we don't have, we haven't put the two trebles in the treble there. So we'll put the two in. And then we have one here. We had two in this stitch, so we need to put two in the middle here. And we continue around. So where there's two, we put two. Where there was two in the previous stitch, we always put two in the middle. But the other ones just get one. So one in there. Two in the next one. One in the next one. Two in the next one. here and then this was an increase so we put two here stitch marker back in move to the next color So here we need to have two trebles. There is just one. But we need two in the next because it's an increase. And then the next increase is not until this one. So we need one treble here, one treble here, and then two in this one. Put the stitch marker back in. They always leave the last stitch because otherwise you're getting too close to the stitch mark and it makes it complicated to get in. And we start with the next colour. So this had two this was an increase, there's two here, so we put two in the top. The next one is not an increased one, so we just put one in there. So the next one is an increase, so we put two in the next. And we have two that are not increased, so one in the next. One in the next. And then the next one is an increase, so we put two in there. Put the stitch marker back in. And then we take the last colour. Here we need two because it's in an increase. The next one is just one. Then the next one is an increase again. And 
no increase. No increase. And the next one is an increase, so we put two. Now the increases will start to get further apart. You see we've reached the basically reached the corner again. Um, right now we get one, still two, then with an increase. So then it goes one, two, also with an increase. One, two, three with an increase. So we are going to start getting further apart on each row now. So you just have to keep an eye on where the increases were in the previous row and where there's the two stitches together, we put two in the middle. So here's two. Just one, and the next one will be two when we come back to it. So basically, that's what we're going to be doing all the way around. We just keep going with the same thing, dropping down to the next colour each time you get to a, where you have to stop, and you do one treble in every treble, except where you've done two on the previous row, and then you do two in the middle to increase. And you just keep going round and round and round in the same way, detangling every so often by going, just turning it back round in the opposite direction. Or even the opposite direction, if we were. <laughs> and then we can untangle everything. And then keep going in this way until your blanket is almost as big as you want it. And then we then we'll come back and I'll show you how to do the corners and then finally the border. The border is very narrow, it's only four rows of moss stitch, so keep going until it's almost as big as you want the final blanket to be. As your blanket gets bigger, you need to make sure you don't miss any of the increases. So I find it easier just to mark, put a marker, stitch marker, into every increase that we do. So you know exactly where the next one goes and then you don't miss any. And then you just need to keep growing the blanket until it's as big as you want it to be. And then you need to, each colour needs to stop in the same space. So for example, we could stop this one here, just like two or three stitches before the next um, the next increase and then another colour needs to stop three spaces later one two three so the next colour would stop here and then the next one will be here and here so the, the opposite so they all, all stop in the same place just three stitches before the increase and then when you get that far then I will tell you what to do next so when your blanket is as large as you want it to be and you've stopped just before the, the increase on four sides of the blanket, so every third increase you should have stopped actually three stitches before where the increase should be. So this last stitch I did here was a treble crochet. And in the last three, just move a bit closer so you can see. You're not going to crochet in the, where the increase should go. Your last stitch will be the one here, just before it, which is actually going to be a slip stitch. The one before that is going to be a double crochet, and the one before that is going to be a half treble. Before that, you've just got trebles. So I've done my last treble. So a half treble, a double crochet, 
and then just a slip stitch. Couple of thread, one of my scissors. Cut the thread and just bring it through to finish off. Now this this side is the is the, the flat side of the square. The, the two previously here are going to be your corner. So you need to do the same thing on the other three corners, the other three sides, to just fi finish off each colour. And then we, and then I will show you how to actually finish the corner. So now to make the square corners, we're going to work back from where the where we finished off the colour. We're going to work on the two previous sides, basically, because it's not, it's not quite a circle. Um, so we go back to the two increases before where we finish the colour and then you've got to remember to keep continuity of your colours. So whichever colour comes next in the sequence is the one you're going to start with at this point. So for me it's the, the light grey. So we're going to start, this is marked the, the increase stitch, we're not going to use this stitch, we're going to start in the next stitch after the increase. So just put the hook through the space, pull the yarn through, and then with the long working end, just make a chain to secure it. Then in the next stitch, we do a double crochet. In the next one is a half treble. And then we're starting with the normal treble crochet and then we treble all the way along these two sides we have to do the increase when we get to the increase so the, the increases continue all the way up to the corner but we just basically treble treble all the way along till just before we need to count the last three sorry you can't see that we're going to stop in the last three for the last three trebles the last three trebles are where we're going to put the last three stitches. So your last treble goes here. So we'll just do that, do the trebles along. So how many trebles you have for these rows now depends on how large your square is, how, how big you made your circle. It'll dictate how many treble crochets you need to do so you just need to keep going one treble crochet in each one below so we get to the increase So increase stitch. So I do two trebles in there as we've done all the way along. And then one in each.
I don't forget to count where your last treble is. That was a slip stitch, that was a double, that was a half treble. So this is your last treble. So we need the last three trebles. One, two, three. So I need to do one more treble. Then we do a half treble. Just like we did at the end of the last row. A double. And a slip stitch there into the last treble. And cut your yarn. And you can see that the edge now is starting to form along the end of these colours. So now we go back to the beginning and we're going to start again with the next colour in the sequence, which for me is the dark grey. We're going to do exactly the same again, but we start in the second treble. So that was a, a chain to start, a double crochet, the half treble. That's a treble. We start in the next treble. Pull the yarn through, make a chain to secure it. In the next treble we do a double crochet. Half treble and treble. And again, we go all the way along, treble all the way along, do the increase when you get to it. And then you come all the way to the end to the, the last three trebles. So that was your slip stitch, double crochet, half treble. The last three trebles is where we do the half treble, the double and the slip stitch to finish. And you just keep working your way up the corner in the same way. Each row will get shorter, obviously, because you're, 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 making, you're making the corner. Keep continuity of the colours and then just keep going for as many rows as you need. And I'll come back and show you at the very end how the, the very last couple of rows works. So now I'm getting quite close to the corner. It's getting narrower and narrower. So this is when it starts to change. This, this will be the last row that I can do in exactly the same way as the previous rows. So in the second treble crochet, pull the yarn through, slip chain to hold, double crochet, half treble crochet and treble crochet. My increase is over here so I can do one, two, three trebles, two trebles for the increase and already I have to do the the short stitches at the end because that's my last last three tre trebles so half treble double and slip stitch into the last one fasten off now this one is very short now so you start in the same way In the second treble, pull the yarn through, chain to hold it, double crochet, half treble, but then you already need to need to go down the short stitches. So do half treble, then a double. And then slip stitch to finish off. And then we just need to remember the half treble. This one. Can you see that? The half treble is actually the corner stitch. So this, that is actually the corner of the square. So when we're going to start doing the border now, that's the one that will have the 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 extra stitches in for the corner. So you, you can, at this point, you can fasten all your ends in, get them out of the way, makes the border a little bit easier to do. Um, just for, the, for these ones where you just started with a chain, it's a little bit loose. So just make sure that's securely fastened without pulling the stitch in too much when you actually fasten it in. 
So you do each of the corners in exactly the same way. Of course, each one will end with a different colour because it was, each one will have a different starting point. When all, all your ends are sewn in, then we can start with the border. So the border is moss stitch um, for the design I've done. You can, you, if you want, you can just do maybe one, one row of treble crochets all the way around um, because the pattern is in the blanket. You don't want too much border now because it will detract from the blanket. So you could just do one row troubles all the way around. I'm going to do moss stitch. So I'm just going to do four rows, one of each color. So it'll be a very narrow border. Um, I want to finish with the dark pink. So I'm going to start with the, the light gray. So the first round will be light gray. Then I'll do one row of the dark gray, one row of the light pink and finish with the dark pink. So I'll take my light gray. And we're going to start with a standing double crochet where you can just attach, attach the yarn and start with a chain if that's the way you prefer. And then do one um, double crochet in the corner. So I'll st in the, the corner one, remember, is, the, is the, the half treble that you did on the final part. So go into that stitch and make a standing double crochet, or as I said, attach it chain and one double crochet. Um, then do a chain, two chains and a double, another double crochet for the corner. So now you've, you've formed the corner here. So with the next round, this will be the corner space that you're going to work into. So now we need every single stitch along the way. We need a double treble, a, a double crochet. So we've done the two in the corner. So one in there, one in the, where the, where the slip stitch was. To, to finish the colour at the end, that can take a double crochet. And then into the into the last double crochet here, we can treble crochet, we can do a double crochet. One into the half treble, one into the double, and one into the slip stitch. So basically at the end of every colour, you're going to have four double crochets. On that, one into the slip stitch, so you go all the way along like that, making sure you've got four, four doubles, four double crochets into the end of each colour. So you can see it's making a nice edge along there. It's not pulling it, but you've got enough stitches in to keep your edge straight. So that's my last stripe on the corner. Put the four in there. Okay, and then we need one, one in every every treble along. We'll need a double crochet. So starting with the this one where you put the slip stitch, we need one in that space. So all the way along,
and then we need we don't want in the last treble we need to put one in this treble as well and then again you need four across the end of each stripe so don't do it in the slip stitch because you did it in the treble here so we do one in the double crochet one in the half treble one in the, the first treble and one in the second treble to make the four then you start the next one is in the double crochet the half treble the treble first treble and the second treble where you slip where you started with the first chain so the same thing again you've got four in the end of each one so you keep going to the corner in the corner we have done one treble on this the last full stripe you've done one one in the double one in the half treble one in the treble first treble, one in the second treble so then you do one in the double crochet then the half treble is your corner again so you do the you do one double crochet two chains and a double crochet there and then for the other side you continue in the same way that you have in the first side continue all the way around till you get back to the corner so when you get all the way around the blanket you just finish off the last few stitches double crochets one in the last double crochet here and then join with a slip stitch to the first double crochet you made on the round Let's cut your yarn and go through. So that's the first row done. Now we're going to do three rows of moss stitch. I recommend that you start on a different corner for each row, and then when you've got you putting your ends in, later there's there's plenty of room, you're not fighting with the ends from the previous row. So my next colour is the dark grey. So we start the first row of moss stitch with a standing double crochet in the two chain space in the corner. One double crochet, two chains to make the new corner, and another, another double crochet. So you've got your two chain space when you next time you get to that corner. Moss stitch is one double crochet, one chain and skip a stitch. So it's quite straightforward. So we've done we have a double crochet here, so we do a chain. We don't do a double crochet in the next space where we normally would with double crochet, but we go in the next, the next space. Do a chain, skip a space, go in the next space. Chain, go in the next space. So each time you're skip, skipping, skipping a double crochet each time, but you're doing a chain to fill that space. I actually go up a hook size for moss stitch because I find that my tension is quite tight and because you're doing a chain in between all the time, it makes it so that the, the border pulls in on itself. It doesn't sit flat. So just go up a, up a hook size. So you have to see how, how it works with your tension whether you need to do that or whether you can carry on with the same hook size as you did for the rest of the blanket. So we carry on like that all the way to the first corner. Then when you get to the corner, depending on how many spaces you have left, Sometimes it works out perfectly. Sometimes you've got an extra stitch or a stitch not enough. Um, in this case, it's worked out perfectly. But moss stitch is quite forgiving. If you find you haven't got exactly the right amount of, of double crochets in the previous round, just you could always put an extra one in just to make it to make it work out. So double crochet, two chains, and double crochet in the corner space. Corner space. One more chain, skip a space, carry on exactly the same way, all the way around the blanket until you get back to the original corner. So 
So for your second row of moss stitch, which is the third colour in your sequence, which for me is the pale pink, we'll start again in the same way in the corner with a standing double crochet. Two chains. And a double crochet. This time we just do one double crochet in every space. So you don't worry too much about skipping stitches. You just chain one, double crochet in the next chain space from the previous row. Chain one, find your next chain space and all the way along like that. All the way around for this row and the, the last row is exactly the same as well in your fourth colour. Just keep going all the way around and then you can see now you can see the moss stitch forming now as the, the colours look like they're starting to interlock a little bit. So now I've finished all the rows of my border. One row of double crochet and three rows of moss stitch to finish it off in the same colours in the same order as I've used during the blanket. So this is the finish, I can't get it all in the camera. Here's the, the spiral and then you can see the square, how it's all squared off. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe um, and hit the notification button as well so you get notified of future videos.